where do we find the investors, right? And and I think what's so important to understand is those are not separated concepts from each other, right? It's like I gotta find lots of investors, so then when I find them, I can go my satchel and run out this great pitch and give it to them, right? And that is uh, just not the way it works. So I'll give you a perfect example because I just came back here, uh, here rushed back for this meeting from Utah, and my life is not any dissimilar than yours. Like, I gotta wake up and I gotta find investors, right? And in the same way, it's just I've done it a lot more. But but here's a perfect example. So I called some guys that I've raised money with before. We've worked together on road shows, raised eighty million dollars together, going into offices like this, pitching investors. Convincing them that you know our deal is going to be a good return on risk reward for them, and uh, so I know these guys, right? And I call them up and say, "Hey, how many a raise I'm doing?" And they say, "No, we're too busy. Can't take your deal on. We have our we've already committed to deals, right? So that's a no, right? Which you will be hearing a lot of. I hear a lot of it. So I said, "Well, look, let me fly out there. Let me fly out there." And they go, "Yeah, don't bother." I said, "No, this is important. Let me fly out there and take you to lunch, right?" And I gave them the same pitch I gave you guys last time, the pathway pitch, right? And they go, we'll take that on, right? So why, right? Why and what can you do about it? The, because for them, taking on a deal means trying to figure the deal out, trying to package it, take, underwrite it, take it out to them, showing it to their investors, a whole process, right? The whole packaging process. But I came in there and I showed them, I know how to give this pitch, you know, in really eight minutes. The whole thing is packaged up and all they have to do is put me in front of investors, right? And it's the, they don't, can just sit down and not do anything. And they go, if we can make money doing that, we'll do it, right? So your, your pitch, the job of your pitch is to get intermediaries to introduce you to principles. Okay, and your world will become when you meet people, this is how you need to look at your world, binary. Is the person I'm meeting an intermediary or are they a principal? And obviously, you're gonna to wanna to meet a lot more principals than intermediaries, but if you're starting with the question, how do I meet investors, right, you've got to find intermediaries. So to be super clear, if you can't convince the intermediary that they will look good by pushing you into their network, then you're dead in the water. You don't have wind in your sails, right? The intermediary has to go, I put that guy in front of the people I know, and I look good, right? They think I'm, they're impressed by me, and they think I'm connected, and they think that a good part of the world rotates around me, and I have deal flow, and I am the master of a small universe that is important, right? But if the intermediary refers that guy up, and he gets a call like, oh my God, don't do that to us again. Like, we value our time. What was that? Right? Then the intermediary doesn't want to do that anymore. I mean, this is obvious. Right? So the job of your pitch is not only to convince the principal, because I'm not hearing everybody go, oh, we have all the principles we need. Right? <laughs> There's a hundred of them trying to get in the door, and all we got to do is do a good job pitching them. Right? We're, what I hear is where, how do we get access to the principles, right? And that is convincing the intermediaries like me, right, or Janine, or some of the other guys here, I don't know where they are, but um, who um, know where the principles are and can make the introductions, right? So for me to do it, I gotta go, hey listen, I know it's a raw startup, right, but this, they're in and out in 15 minutes, and if they stay longer, it's because you ask them to. Right? I can make that introduction. Give this guy 15 minutes. 
He gives a pitch in five, he does Q&A in five, and you guys build a relationship in five, and he's out of there on minute 16, I promise you. I can get that meeting what I, for you. What I can't get is, I got this guy, you know, he's gonna come in, he kinda runs long, right? So, <laughs> and it's very confusing, but if you just pay a lot of attention, there's like a nugget in there, right? <laughs> Somewhere. Like, I found it in five hours, but I'm not that smart. You can find it in two for sure, right? I can't get you that meeting, right? So kind of the more early stage your deal is, the more you have to tune, the more you have to tune it to um, the, the amount of time that you can get realistically on an introduction. And I think that is very powerful. Right to say, hey, look, and I and I do this like I know. So so if you want a script for this, right? It's it. Look, you know, say to an intermediary, I know how to deal with these introductions, right? This is your relationship. All right, I'm not gonna try and sell the guy, right? I'm not gonna put him on my Rolodex. I'm not gonna try and form a relationship around you. I know the value of these introductions. Two is, I'm in and out, and I just give a clean pitch. I will not drool on your investor. I won't try and convince him um, with too much uh, exuberance to do the deal. I will just give a nice, clean pitch, and not only that, I can do the whole thing in 12 minutes, okay? And I can be out of there in under 20. Right? And if he falls in love with it, then he falls in love with it, and we all get back together. But if you if you make the introduction, I commit to you. That's the experience your guy will have. Clean, easy, fast, and I'll be prepared. Right? Now you'll get intermediaries go, okay, I can live with that. It's just too scary to introduce a deal without a spinning revenue wheel, you know, or, or really spinning metrics um, to principals because they don't know what's gonna the, the reputational